Shadow in the Cloud. Yes, I have watched the first movie release of 2021. This movie was released in cinemas in the States on the 1st of Jan, and I watched a movie via downloading on iTunes. It is probably available in many other countries via digital formats. The movie was directed by Roseanne Liang, and she also co-wrote the script with Max Landis. I will get on to a bit more about Max Landis later on in the review because that's something I want to touch upon. The movie stars Chloe Grace Moretz and is a World War II type movie, creature movie, woke movie if you could call it that. It's all about a young female who is trying to avoid and trying to run away from an abusive husband. She stows away basically on this American aircraft with a document which is a false document basically saying she is someone who she isn't and that she has to deliver a certain package which is being described as a high level asset and the movie is all over the place all over the place this movie is if there's any indication of how 2021 is going to go then i am worried for my sanity because this movie was utter trash. The only positive is the performance of Chloe Grace Moretz. I thought she done so well in the limited capability she had with this appalling script. So this is where I'm gonna get on to Max Landis, right? He basically wrote the treatment of this movie and by the looks of it, originally wrote the screenplay. He then got caught out on some Me Too movement type stuff and rather than just bin the movie, go on to something else, all they done was kick him off the project, um, kept his name, he still got a writing credit on the, on the movie and paid him a handsome wage probably. Um, another one, seen this many a times over the last couple of years, people just doing absolute fuckery and basically getting away with it. And it's pretty excruciating to see this happen all the time. The script was clearly rewritten multiple times. I don't really know what route they were trying to take with the movie, what genre they were trying to be in. It was all over the place. There was some okay moments, the shootout moments with the Japanese fighter planes and the American plane were good. The CGI was decent enough. I didn't think the CGI was woeful, but the story, the script, and just the overall feel of the movie was utter trash. This gremlin type creature appeared on the plane, well off the plane, and kind of was trying to break into the plane and steal the asset. What is the asset, you ask? The asset is actually Chloe Grace Moretz's character's baby, who the father of the baby is also on the plane. Yep, shocker. Just shit storytelling all around in this. It was absolutely woeful. They never explained why this gremlin type creature was trying to get the baby. They never explained where this gremlin creature came from. They never really explained the gremlin creature at all. Why it was in the movie, I do not know. Do not know what that was doing in the movie. The movie was just so bad. I just didn't enjoy it at all. They tried to make this feminine kind of protagonists but it was kind of too much they just made every male character in it an absolute dick you don't need to empower women by making every male a prick you can make a strong female character a hero of the story without making every single other person look like an asshole it's just bad script writing and the movie as a whole just Throw it in the bin. If you're like me and you paid money to watch this, I apologize. Do not get robbed. I feel like someone has just gone in my wallet, took out 25 pound 
and walked off. I'm never gonna see that money again. And it hurts, it hurts to pay money for that absolute shit. If you're in America, go and watch it in the cinemas. There's nothing else to watch. Go and check it out. You might have a different opinion to me. I doubt it, it is that bad. If you've seen the movie, please let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know if there was any aspects you enjoyed of the movie and if there was anything you hated in the movie. If this is an indication of how 2021 is going to go, it's going to be a long year and I fear for my sanity. However, I have hope there are some good movies due to be released this year. So stay with the channel. We'll review all the movies when they come out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoy the content. Thank you for watching. Peace out.